Um, with this, what I'd like to do is stop for a second and invite uh, a distinguished guest from uh, the Al Tayar group to come to the stage with me, Abdul Rahman Matrib, and he's going to tell the story of innovation at Al Tayar out of Saudi Arabia. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, thanks, thank you for being here today, and thanks for uh, Amazon inviting me to be uh, here today to talk about uh, our experience in the cloud. My name is Abdurrahman Mutrib. I'm the Executive Vice President of Al Tayar Group for Technology, and I'm going to be talking to you about our experience. Before I do that, uh, let me speak a little bit about who we are. So basically, we are a travel and tourism company in Saudi Arabia. Uh, we've been in business for the last 40 years. Uh, we've been, uh, we started in 1979 uh, with a simple retail shop in Saudi. In 2000, we started acquiring different businesses to grow faster. In 2012, we went public, so we are the very first uh, and maybe the only public listed travel and tourism company in the Middle East. In 2014, we started to grow internationally, so we have offices in the UK and we have offices in Egypt across uh, most of the GCC countries. And then in 2015, we had an interesting event. We had a completely new board members. We have a complete new management, including myself. And then we started to roll out our strategic plan. Uh, the strategic plan basically calls for multiple initiatives. One of them is uh, diversifying our investment portfolio. So we started investing in hospitality. Uh, today, we have seven hotels. Uh, we are running these hotels in partnerships with the likes of Sheraton, Movenbeek, then we signed a franchise with Choice Hotels across the Middle East. Uh, so we're going to be building hotels uh, with brand names like Days Inn, Comfort Inn, and Clarion across the whole Middle East. We expect to have a total of more than 50 hotels in the Middle East by next year. The other initiative that we had is we need to build our online presence. Until 2015, we never had an online presence. So we thought this is a critical, and we need to, uh, to launch it as soon as possible. Uh, we today have three brand names for online. We have something called uh, Al Musafir, Tajawal, and Al Tayyar Online. So, in order to build this online presence, we had to uh, we had to have certain guiding principles. One of the key guiding principles that uh, came up of the strategy team is that we need to have uh, a customer-centric service. By that, I mean instead of building products and services that we think the customer want we actually going to build products and services that the customer needs and wants. Uh, and this is customer centricity, is one of the key principles that we talk about ourselves uh, when we're building our online presence. So the first thing we had to make it as a decision is whether we build our infrastructure in-house using data centers or we go to the cloud. So we had four main metrics to help us make that decision. One of them, for example, is scalability. Uh, our business is seasonal. So we have very high demand in the summer times, then it goes back down after summer. Same thing for New Year or Christmas. That means that we need to build our infrastructure that meets our high season. Unfortunately, in during uh, low season, this infrastructure is going to be underutilized, which means that we're not going to get our right return on investments. Uh, that's made ourselves uh, go to the cloud, because in the cloud we can pay as you go. We only going to get uh, the cost of the resources that we are going to actually use. And uh, this is going to be the same thing for the other three uh, uh, metrics for, uh, for making that decision. Uh, we built many interesting uh, products on the cloud. Uh, one of them that we are very proud of uh, this year is the big data platform. So we're using AWS to build uh, uh, big data for uh, our customers. We are getting uh, all kinds of information from all the big players, including uh, Google, for example. We have, we're tracking every single search on Google for any customer in the Middle East that searches for anything related to travel uh, or, or, or tourism. We get that into our big data. Also, we have big vibes to the big social media outlets like uh, Twitter, Facebook, and we also have uh, gathering all the data that our customer is, is, is doing uh, uh, when it comes to searching our website or mobile apps. So what do we do with this data? We harvest this data on daily, weekly basis. 
we try to understand the customer behavior, the sentiment, where are they going, what they're doing when they go there. And then we customize our product and services to be actually tailored to our customer. We're using agile methodology, so every two, three weeks, we launch new products and services, and we modify our product to meet the customer requirement. This is to address the, our strategic goal of being customer-centric. We don't offer products and services that we think, but we 100% sure that the customer is going to be using. Uh, this is a quick snapshot. You've seen a lot of uh, Amazon uh, services and workload types. If you go to Amazon AWS website, you're going to find more than a thousand of these uh, types of workloads and, and services. Uh, uh, for example, these are maybe a little bit too technical, but for example, we're using Agile methodology. So Amazon is giving us the right tools to manage our own developers for collaboration, what they call DevOps tools. Uh, so what's next? Uh, basically, we have exciting stuff coming next year. Uh, so instead of uh, doing and, and adapting our product and services every two, three weeks for the customer requirement, we're going to be using next year Amazon's uh, machine learning tools and, and uh, artificial intelligence to actually understand the customer behavior and do real-time predictive analysis of what they are looking for. So at this spot, when you're going to be accessing our website, our mobile apps, we will be able to offer every single customer a different user experience. We're going to be offering each single customer a completely uh, customized, fully personalized customer experience. And this is going to be done hopefully by next year. Uh, so for anyone who's considering uh, cloud, this is actually our own experience, what we have found out, what the cloud can do for us. If I'm going to take an example of scalability, uh, this year we had very successful marketing campaigns. One of the marketing campaigns we had this, this year, we had three times uh, of, of demand on our infrastructure. It was so high that uh, we were surprised how successful that uh, marketing campaign was. So let's take the, the two examples. If we had such success with in-house infrastructure, we would have needed six weeks, maybe eight weeks, to procure new infrastructure, install it, configure it, and make it available. That means we're gonna, we could have lost all this demand from customers, and we could have lost the revenue from those customers. In contrast, since we are in the cloud, we were able to scale up very quickly in a few seconds and meet all these demands. And we could not lose any revenue. In terms of cost savings, uh, when we did our study back in 2015, whether we're going to do cloud or on-premise, uh, we found out that in order to, to build our data center, tier 4, fully redundant, fully tolerant, we're going to be needing an investment between $10 million and $12 million every five years. Today, we're spending less than a million dollars on Amazon Cloud every year. So that's a huge cost saving, more than 50%. Uh, four years ago, we had zero footprint in the online. Today, within four years, uh, our three brand names are going to be generating more than two billion riyals of revenue this year. Uh, thanks to multiple uh, 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 success factors, but I believe focusing on the cloud have relieved us from wasting our time building our own infrastructure. And thanks to Amazon for helping us out doing that in a record time. Thank you very much.